Hi everyone, uh, this is Lakshma. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the today's session, I am going to explain how to become a front-end developer or we can say what are the mandatory skills are required to become a front-end developer or UI developer, user interface developer. Then you may have doubt who is front-end developer. The front-end developer is someone who can develop the websites. The end user or customer, we can see the uh, websites and also you can uh, interact the websites. So those websites build by front-end developer only. Whatever the websites we are seeing in the desktop and the mobile or uh, laptops, those are all websites are developed by front-end developer or UI developer only. Then what are the skills are used to develop such kind of uh, websites? So the basic skills are required to become a front-end developer are HTML plus CSS. So by using HTML and CSS, we can build the static websites. Here static means whenever we are enter username and password, after then we are click on the submit or login button. So once you click on submit or login button, we will enter into the next page. But in the case of static website, the website remains in the same page only. It doesn't uh, uh, go to next page. Such kind of websites are nothing but static websites. So by using HTML and CSS, we can build static websites only, not dynamic websites. Okay. So after comfortable HTML and CSS, you have to build some static websites like uh, a home page web page or contact us web page or about us web page or you can you can develop three to five static websites then you will get some confident uh, on html and css so i recommend it to learn these html and css concept uh, through w3schools.com okay after comfortable those things learn javascript so javascript is a very important uh, uh, language for front end developer okay so that is the so therefore you must focus on much time on javascript okay so after learn javascript you have to build the dynamic website which are already created by static website you just add the functionality to those static websites by using javascript okay so after comfortable javascript learn bootstrap why you are using bootstrap bootstrap using to build the mobile responsive websites here responsive websites means you can take a single website like ircTC.com to book to book the train tickets that website should appear in the same view either you are open uh, desktop or you can open mobile or you can open any tab irrespective of device you can open irct website it will uh, look and feel is same only such kind of websites are nothing but responsive websites so those responsive websites are built by by using technology bootstrap okay so after learning bootstrap you have to learn one javascript framework that is mandatory nowadays okay so javascript framework nowadays a very high demand framework is nothing but react js so there are two diff there are two javascript uh, front end frameworks are there very high demand but i highly recommend you react js okay and one more technology angular framework okay so by using react js or angular we can develop the single page we can build the single page applications okay either it is mobile or web applications okay so after comfortable one front end framework then you have to sign in a freelancer website then you can do some jobs in the freelancing then you will gain some confidence to become a front end developer so along with that if you have good knowledge as a back end technology back end programming language also you will get some high package as well at least you must understand what is going on for back end because 
as a front end developer you must understand the flow while you are doing the project okay so back end technology i highly recommend you to learn back end technology node js okay for front end developer and also you have to learn some version control like uh, git or github or gitlab so this this is also one of the important is the process to become a front end developer so don't forget after learning front end framework like react js or angular so do some freelancing uh, jobs okay then you will gain some confidence at the same time you can upload your profile in the job portals as well and try for a job so guys if you feel this video very helpful like the video and also share to your friends and also give comments about this video so if you have any doubts i will reply to your comments as well so we will see in the next video so thank you very much